Hey guys, welcome to Data Check, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at how one can fine tune the recently released Llama 2 model, the open source LLM model, on any custom data sets. So, let's get started. Also, uh, before that, I want to let you know I have created a series of videos on uh, LLMs where the first video is about understanding the technology behind chat GPT, how a GPT model is pre-trained and how a GPT pre-trained model is fine-tuned on question answering data set to create chat GPT model, what is reinforcement learning through human feedback, what is few sort inferences and much more other topics. In the second video I cover which is good, bad and ugly side which is a dual nature of conversational LMs. I cover the usefulness of open source LMs as well as the other sides, there are some biases attached to it, it hallucinates, it has ethical issues and much more. Those things I covered as well as some of the open source LLMs out there. In the third videos, I have covered some advanced topics which are very important to fine tune an open source LLM on a freely available Google Colab notebook. It has been possible because of these topics like sparse attention, flash attention, quantization, pruning, distillation, low rank adapters, LoRa and so on. So this concept which has made it possible to fine tune uh, models like Falcon and uh, Llama 2 and Bloom and all these open source LMs in a sing single node GPU and with limited compute uh, it's possible to fine tune these models on any custom data set because of these concepts. It's very important to know these concepts. And also in the last video I covered how to fine tune a Falcon model on any custom data set. In today's model we will see uh, about Llama 2 what is a Llama 2 model and how one can fine tune it uh, on any custom data set. So let's first understand Llama 2 and why is it making a lot of noise recently. Llama 2 uh, is a state of art open source LLM released by Meta. Uh, it's written today because it was re released recently on July 18. And uh, it's, it's making a lot of noise because of its uh, efficiency and how good it is in producing uh, outputs which are of high quality. Uh, understanding bit more about Llama 2. Llama 2 introduces a family of pre-trained and fine-tuned LLMs in a scale of 7 billion to 70 billion parameters. Basically 7 billion, 13 billion and 70 billion version of the models are available and both the base model and the instruct fine-tuned model and uh, it has much longer context 4k tokens while the other Previous models Falcon and Jack GPT, we have seen they, those were of 2K tokens, the context length, but here the context length is 4K tokens. And why is it possible? Because of the advanced concept LoRa, uh, flash attention, sparse attention and so on, which I have covered in the other video. So it has larger context window and it's available in multiple versions and the fine-tuned version of it, that is the instruct-tuned version of it, which is fine-tuned for more conversational kind of question answers like GPT-3 is fine-tuned to get chat GPT. Similarly, these base models are fine-tuned to get Llama 2 chat or instruct uh, models and they use RLHF similar to chat GPT. Here also Llama 2 also uses RLHF while Falcon didn't use RLHF but, but Llama 2 uses reinforcement learning through human feedback and also the paper is available one can read more details in the paper and uh, even a chat window of Llama 2 is available similar to chat GPT you can access through the chat window the Llama 2 efficiency you can check through the uh, chat uh, window or the website it's available as the chatting version I will I will show that as well and uh, currently in the leaderboard it is on the top two or top three we can actually see the leaderboard as well the leaderboard uh, you can see that Lama is on third position and Falcon is somewhere in the uh, top 20 but not in top 3. Falcon is somewhere in top 20 but Lama 2 is on uh, 70 billion one is on third position 30 billion is on fourth position so it's doing pretty well as I was saying the model is making a lot of noise because of its high efficiency in producing output. And uh, in the blog, they have also covered uh, how to do in France and they have used so an example where the person says, I liked Breaking Bad and Band of Brothers. Do you have any recommendations for me? And it gives the 
Sopranos, The Wire, Mad Men, these series are being recommended because it has learned all this through the uh, internet data and it has lot of parameters, 7 billion, 13 billion, 70 billion parameters where it has memorized this information and it is beautifully able to give answers to the questions because it has been fine-tuned using RLHF. The base models have been fine-tuned using RLHF especially to uh, cater the conversational use case. And uh, also they have covered how to do fine-tuning with PEFT library. PEFT is parameter efficient fine-tuning library which combines the uh, quantization and LoRa technique, QLoRa technique and uh, makes it possible to fine tune 7 billion model parameter in a free google collab notebook of one gpu and limited resources it's only possible because of the pref library and uh, the optimizations it does in the form of lora quantization and uh, multi query attention uh, and so on and uh, a part of it uh, as i was saying that also the chat version of it is available similar to chat gpt its chat version of it is available where you can see the efficiency of it you can just give it some question let's say what is love love is a complex and multifaceted emotion that can be difficult to define it is often described as a strong feeling of affection attachment or devotion to another person and so on. so now let's uh, go to the main topic how can we fine tune it on a custom data set now let's look at how can one fine tune uh, llama 2 on any custom data sets. I have created a custom data set and it's a very interesting data set which I will fine tune it on. And similar more code we had used for the fine tuning of Falcon model as well but I will call it out that there, there are differences. First of all the important libraries like the transformer libraries, data set libraries, bits and bytes all these libraries are installed and then I load the uh, Instacart data. So we will fine tune it on Instacart data. Uh, I have also given the link of the data set. This is the data set where I have just used the department and product.csv file. Why I have used those two files, I will explain. Uh, and then I have used uh, train test split to split the data set into train and testing data. Now, in the data set, there is a product, and every product belongs to some department like organic caraway seeds it belong to pantry, original laundry detergent belongs to household, uh, alta dynamic belongs to dairy eggs and so on. Now I have created one more column which is the text column and here I have defined my data set, my conversational data set, my question answering data set where the question is product name followed by some de delimiter arrow and colon and the department name. So I want to fine tune my llama 2 model on question answering data set where the question will be product name and in answer I want the department name and uh, during the fine tuning I will use this data set and during the inference I will use the test data and just give it the question which is the product name and I would expect it me to give it me the uh, department name. So next what we have done we have loaded the model I have used Llama 2 7 billion VF16 Sardet model I have see, uh, seen that Sardet models fit good in this uh, low constrained uh, res memory resources like here I am using the Google Colab notebook with one GPU and limited memory uh, is theirs and when I use this kind of Sardet Llama 2 model it is uh, able to better cater to this uh, uh, limited resource notebook and uh, this is a difference in Falcon 1 I had loaded the Falcon model and here I have loaded the Llama 2 uh, model and then uh, what I have done is I have also used the tokenizer because all the words are actually converted into tokens uh, which are some integer numbers and this auto -tokener, tokenizer library does that. Now before fine tuning I am just seeing that if I don't do fine tuning what does it predict and uh, it's a bit intuitive right because this I have used the base model I have not used the fine tuned model I have used the base model and base model is trained on uh, it's actually pre-trained on next word prediction right so it will just predict the next word let's see i have given it uh, uh, free and clear stage for overnight diapers bread rolls and french meal over almond garment soaps i have given it three uh, data points for the first one uh, bread rolls uh, no uh, yes for the first one free and clear stage for overnight diapers it just gives some website and uh, it's money and something about it similarly for bread rolls 
it gives some um, address and you are so interesting not sure what it is emitting similarly for the uh, show it is giving some website maybe where it's available and uh, it's giving some details that it uses essential oils and so on but this is not what we want we don't want an expert prediction we want it to emit an answer and the answer we are expecting is the department name so let's fine tune it for fine tuning we will use the PEF library which internally uses LoRa LoRa stands for low rank adapters where the main idea is that the uh, pre-trained weights and layers will be uh, uh, freeze there the parameters won't change but adapters will be added to each layer and only the adapters will change and these adapters are low rank adapters uh, so basically these those are of lower parameters because it uses a technique of matrix factorization so the parameter requirement is less and only those are uh, learned so it uses LoRa and I have added adapters to these layers and next uh, I am training it for 120 steps and logging it at every step I have also used some other parameters that you can look and even change as per your need and I have used the SFT trainer library and finally trainer.train you can see that my training loss is reducing over time uh, and it will run for 120 steps and post that let's come to the interesting part let's see the result in the testing data and uh, I have seen the inference is slower so I have just inference for 25 data points in test data and this is the answer where free and clear is stage 4 overnight diapers is the product name actual department is babies and it is also giving babies diapers and accessories diapers uh, frozen frozen goods alcohol alcoholic beverage spirits so one thing I have seen is that it emits some more words but if you just pay attention to the first few words it's matching bakery bakery personal care personal care soap and bath right household household daily daily and meat seafood meat seafood household household frozen frozen and personal care personal care meat seafood meat seafood and compared to falcon i have seen that uh, accuracy wise it's very similar but here the output is more com uh, compact and precise while falcon was also 100 percent accurate but after the actual department it is it was emitting more tokens but here it's more precise and compact so that's it in this video where we have looked how can we download the base uh, llama model and uh, uh, add, use the PEF library, use the LoRa technique, add adapters on the uh, some of the layers and fine tune it on our custom data set and uh, here we have trained it on Kaggle Instacart data set where my question is product name and what I expect is to it to emit the department name. So that's it in this video, we will make more videos in the uh, LLM series. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.